Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. In this specific video, we're going to be looking into NDI tally lights and the tally functionality built into almost all NDI video sources. Let's take a look. So this is a tally light, which is truly where tally kind of comes from in its uh, broadcast roots, if you will. A tally light is a light that turns on to let you know when a specific camera is live in a video production. So the roots of tally really is to have sort of a non-verbal communication system with a video producer and the on-screen talent. And it also works for camera operators. It's, it's been around for a very long time. And NDI is starting to modernize what tally means and how it can be used as an indication solution for how video is being used, whether it's being used across the world or in the studio that you're standing in. So as you know, we've been going through the NDI, Unofficial Guide to NDI book. We've talked a lot about what NDI is and the tools that are available. And now we've made it almost all the way to the end of this online course where we're getting more detailed into tally lights and what they are and how they work with NDI. So we're going to show today the tally light system that we are using. And that is from a company called Tally Dash Lights LLC. They have a small tally light control box and they have these physical tally lights. And these physical tally lights turn on to let you know which camera to look at when you're on camera. Again, this technology has been around for a long time. It's very, very popular in any type of video production system that has more than one camera. So if you're a pastor at a church and you've got two or three cameras, how do you know which one to look at? How do you know which to connect with your audience and not kind of look like you're looking at the wrong space? Well, that's where tally lights come in. Now, I want to show a few of the tally lights that are around our studio. So I'm going to walk you around our studio really quickly and just show you from my point of view, how do I know what I'm doing? Well, if we walk over, and Brian, remember, you need to overlay the, uh, the camera option and then under it, choose the, to turn the light on here. This is like one of the main cameras that I use over here. And Brian, if you cut to that camera underneath, the uh, overlay, you can see it, the light turns on. And that's how I know, okay, that's the camera to look at, right? And, and we've got a couple different cameras in here. You know, one of them is over there in the corner and I use it so that I know kind of which camera to look at. So there's, there's a, a quick look at kind of what tally lights look like in a physical sense, but NDI is also kind of modernizing what NDI is becoming in a more modern sense. And we'll take a look at how it, that's a physical NDI tally light. We'll also look at software tally lights and how it can work literally across the globe. So if you're unfamiliar with tally lights and how they actually work, well, any NDI compatible video production system will report the status of the NDI video source inside the video production software. So in a traditional sense, and this is vMix, but this is pretty much an industry standard, even down to OBS, where there's a preview and a live output area of the video production software. When the camera's in preview, and we've looked at this in Studio Monitor, and we've looked at this in a couple different um, scenarios, generally the light will turn green to let you know, okay, if you're a camera operator, you know, your camera might be used very soon, so get your shot ready. If the video source is in the live output area, the tally light turns red, and that means this camera is being used right now. So again, it's nonverbal, but very powerful communication system. Now, in Studio Monitor, and we've seen this throughout our online course, I've made reference to this, that the studio monitor itself has an indication light right at the top. 
in the left-hand side, we're seeing the camera's not in use at all. Uh, and by not in use, I mean not in preview or output. It might still be being used as a studio monitor, for example, but it's not in a live video production software in preview or output. Now in the middle, we've got this green bar where the camera is definitely in preview. And then on the right, we have a, a red bar indicating that the camera is definitely being used. So the cool thing about NDI is that Tally is inherently built into most all tools that are available for NDI. So whether it's Studio Monitor, whether it's a physical Tally light, you know what the status of the camera is. And that becomes more and more important as we have distributed networks over the globe, over a large campus. Now, Tally Lights LLC actually introduced one of the first ever rack-mounted NDI Tally Light controllers. And I want to, just to give you an idea of some of the opportunities available today, I wanted to show you guys how this works, first of all, and then think about it from like a more global perspective. Why is it so important to have Tally built into the NDI standard? Well, first of all, uh, you can see here, and I know there's a lot of a lot of lines here. I have blue lines for network connections, and I have the like more gray lines for hardwired tally light connections. Now, in the main live streaming computer, uh, that actually should have a blue connector. So I, I'm just going to do this right now. I apologize. That should be blue because that is connected to the local area network in the middle here. So the cameras are connected. The NDI cameras are connected to the local area network. The live streaming computer is connected to the local area network. And there's a tally light controller connected to the local area network, which knows, based on NDI, when to turn on which light. And that is just one really cool kind of hardware scenario that we use here in our studio to know which camera to look at. Now, one of the things you're going to learn about in this course, and it was just announced with NDI 5.0, is something called NDI Bridge. And NDI Bridge is the ability to connect two locations together that are both using NDI video sources. Maybe you've, you know, in this example, you're seeing graphics and replay done in Los Angeles, the production done in San Antonio, and audio production done in New York. This is becoming more common where we're having you know, people coming in remotely all over the world and productions being put together globally. And when we do that, when we use the NDI bridge and we connect one local area network to another, imagine how cool it is to have the tally lights in New York, where the, or in, in San Antonio, in this example, where the cameras are, turn on when the production is happening, perhaps across the globe or maybe just across your local area network. So I wanted to bring that in as a thought and then get to the takeaways, which is essentially Tally Lights and Tally itself is a great tool for video production. It's nonverbal, easy communication tool to let everybody know what's going on in your video production. NDI supports Tally in a variety of ways, whether it's working with Studio Monitor, whether it's inherently working with a video production software that's integrated into NDI, Tally is an important part of this. It's built in. NDI cameras support Tally. And whether it's an NDI camera or not, you can still use Tally lights. So if you're using a camera that's an older camcorder, you can use one of these Tally lights that we looked at from Tally-LLC and have that large Tally light connected to an NDI system and supporting an older camcorder or cameras with natively built in NDI generally will support NDI tally as well. Like a PTZ Optics camera, for example, has like a special light on the front that will turn on and off depending on where it is inside of a video production software. So tally is a great solution. Now you know what it is. Now you've seen some um, real world scenarios and we've even talked about the future of Tally and why it's so important when we start having distributed networks. Are you using Tally lights? Let me know. Have you thought about using Tally? Were you confused when you saw a green or a red bar in Studio Monitor? 
Let me know your experience about tally lights in the comments below, and we'll keep trucking along in this great online course.